Hi everybody, this is Trish from Art Journal Junkie. Today I'm going to show you two backgrounds using acrylic paints and just plain sea salt that you find in your kitchen. So here I'm taking three different colors, a violet, an aqua and a nice blue. And I'm using an index card that has already been gessoed. As you can see, the sea salt is just plain uh, white salt. Um, by the way, if you use Himalayan salt and it's pink, the pink doesn't come through onto your paper. But it's an expensive way to do this technique. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to, oops, let me shake that bottle up first. I'm going to place a couple of dots of the paint around the card and um, then I'm just going to mush them all together and spritz it with a little bit of water. Now the secret to this technique is to make sure that the medium that you're using is wet and this is why I spritz a little bit more water onto the acrylic paint. Be careful that you don't use a heavy body paint, here I'm just using a simple craft paint which is quite free flowing. You actually need the water to be drawn up into the salt for this technique to be effective. Leave it in place to dry very well before removing the salt. Now the second um, technique using salt, I'm going to take just two colors, but you can again use three if you wish. And I'm putting them into a small palette and I'm going to add some water to water them down even more than they already are fluid. You don't need this to be too watery, but there must be some nice flow to the paints. And again, I've taken a, just a plain index card that I've put a light coat of gesso over. Um, and I'm going to mix up the paints and apply them starting with the lighter color and then adding the darker color afterwards. Place them up against each other so that when you add the salt, they will run into each other. Now you can do this technique very successfully with watercolor as well, um, but because I like to work with acrylics, I thought I would just show you how to do this background using acrylic paints.
Again, sprinkle um, salt all over the index card, uh, quite a bit, and you have different consistencies as well. I find that if you use table salt, it's a little bit too uh, thin, if I could call it that, and you don't really get a nice effect. The harder rock salt or the um, sea salt is, gives you a far better look and feel. Now you'll see here, this was the first one we did with the three colors, and I've allowed it to dry completely. You'll see some of the white gesso coming through and the salt is still on top of the card. It's very nice for texture. The second card, I have already removed some of the salt, not all of it as you can see, and I've left some on and actually put gel medium over it to seal the salt into or on top of the index card. This gives a really, really nice texture and you can use it in a lot of your journaling applications. So I hope you've enjoyed my video. Please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel and come on over and join me at Facebook. Um, we have a lovely group there and we share our art and enjoy art journaling. Take care and have a very good day. Bye for now.